Hello, I'm Kai. Welcome back to Kai vs. Python. So basically me vs. Python. And today you're going to be doing logic and loops where basically you're using your logic in your head or in the computer to do Python stuff like say, like decision making. So like I can say when I only have one franc and there are two options. One option, a candy. Another option, a healthy apple. And I need to do a decision. Same with logic in Python. Here first, we're going to be showing logic. Decision making. You can choose uh, one apple. Or maybe I've, as you've seen um, this, uh, or you may have not. It's just me and my dog. Here, you're doing what you want. And in Python, we use this a lot. For example, for password or for decision or logic like checking stuff if they're correct or not true or false quizzes are made out of it so what i can also do is it can check if things are correct or wrong and that's just what logic is loops are basically stuff that repeat on and on until a certain point there is while true which I'm going to write here, and while true, something will happen. So while the loop is true, it will repeat this and this and on and on. I'm going to quickly do an example here. Let's just print Hello World. This is good for testing Hello World, as I said in the last video. And don't, don't if you're watching this video now, then leave this video now, right now. And, well, not right now, wait, until I finish explaining, then, or if you've already done it. Uh, watch the video um, where I explain um, variables, and I also explain prints, and I also explain inputs. You need to watch that video, like, right now, because I'm teaching these stuff, okay? Now enough yapping. <laughs> Uh, let's go here. This, we'll just print it once if you click F and F5. So it's hello world, okay? That's just easy. Let's just copy this first. And then if you just do this all up, and it'll just, uh, print it five bazillion times. 133 lines. Oh, whatever. Here, we got the rampage thing. This is annoying, but you need to print, 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 print every single one. You can do loops like this. We'll just print it this many times and finish now. That's why I'm going to be doing this in a loop. So it's going to repeat this a lot of times. First, this needs to be up here. Just went in the back here and done a um, new line by clicking enter. And here you, you can write your loops. Just write while true. While the loop is true, it's going to be printing hello world. And don't forget here, you always need to add a little tab sign. Now if you go FNF5, FNF5, and save it, then it's going to print it infinitely because while, if I didn't just, I try to select something and just, <laughs> and then just, um, does this. So, while well, wait, when you have a variable, well, num feet. Why am I doing so weird words today? Whatever, who cares? Num feet equals zero. Num, while num feet is not, this sign means is not, by the way. The law of signs in Python for logic and loops. The first one is equals equals sign. So it's basically hi. Ho. Uh, then it will just say while high is ho, so this could be the var variable, var, and this value of high, and then this would be the thing uh, that it's doing. So that means basically high is the variable, and while high is the variable, um, ho is going to be doing errors down here and there's also another sign um is not sign that you saw up here while while um this this is not 
that, so while the variable this is not that, while it's not this, then it'll continue the loop. So that means that's another sign. And then there's the greater and less than sign. It can be used in stuff like saying while the variable's value is bigger than 4, then it will be doing the stuff it needs to do. I want to say quickly that all this stuff, I learned this mostly in classes, but some of it I also learned from this amazing uh, book that I got, Coding for Kids Python. It's super good. And, and what's cool about it is that, like, if you need help, there are chapters. For example, Welcome to Python, print, whatever. And there are instructions how to download Python. Really helped me, so I think that you should get this. Uh, I'm not sponsoring. I'm no advertisement. I'm just saying that this is a good book. So here, these are all the signs. There's still one more sign. This is also a sign. Uh, same thing as this. Now, if we just go here, delete, and there we go. Here, while well, num feet is not equal to to num, then that means I'll do loop. So that means it's okay. And we can just write your feature not num. And then I just say, and it does not do it five bazillion times, it'll be very fast, or you can just do time dot slowly one second and there but we need to first do import let's say import time and now if we would do this then hopefully it will say your feet are not numb <laughs> <laughs> now we're just gonna do print if the feet are not if the feet are numb, then just skip the loop. Good, your feet are numb. Uh, let's just do that there, so it's nicer. And then, and we're going to start it. And your feet are not numb. But, what if we change this to numb? So, good, your feet are numb. Okay, this is the loop part. But you can also do stuff like, as we learned last time, that it, we can put an input saying, okay, so I am asking you, are your feet numb? Question mark. Oh, wait, this needs to be up here. This here needs to be numb feet. Okay, good. Are your feet numb? And now we're going to be using ifs. Uh, if numb feet equals no. Or numb feet does not equal yes, so do this. Then if numb feet equal equal yes, then we're going to have this statement. Over here, because your feet are numb, and then it's not gonna do that. I think I, I'm not actually sure. Let's test it out. This good with Python, you have to let's test that if it's no, your feet are not numb. Are your feet numb? What the no, my feet are still not numb. This needs to be gone. Okay, maybe now if I start it, are your feet numb? No, my feet are not numb. Okay, that's that's just fun. Now we can just go here. Your feet are numb. Yes, my feet are numb. Are your feet numb? Feet are yes. Our feet are numb. Good, your feet are numb. <laughs> and it doesn't go to the loop since what first happens says, "Are your feet numb?" Your feet are numb. Then good, your feet are numb. And then it's not gonna go to the loop. Because if it does not equal yes, if it's something else, then it will be doing the loop. So that means this is the good part. Okay, um, you can take a screenshot here if you want to see this, and you can, you can test out in your Python, or you can run it on a just a local EduBlox. Then I'm gonna get out of here, and please can you watch this, please? go and send in the comments your own python thing because last time when i done it no one really sent anything maybe now when you're watching this no one commented anything that's just sad i asked please comment and someone just commented and said it car you're really good okay thank you to that person thank you but the thing is that that's that's i'm happy with that but you need to send python python 
Kai, you're really good. It's not Python. I appreciate it, but no, it's not Python. So please, can you write in the comments below and do your programs and also do your loop program and maybe combine both of the things that we've done. Input, print, strings and variables plus the loops and logic. If you put those two together, it works out well. Alone, this is bad. Alone, logic and, and loops, you can barely do anything. Really, you can do nothing. But if you do those two together, then everything will be good and you will do good Python projects. Okay, bye. Yes, 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 yes. Is there a problem with my voice? Okay, bye.